Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video where you already know from the title what I'm going to be doing. It is going to be a first DIY video on the channel, but it's not a very difficult one. Um, like anyone with like, you don't need any skill or anything, it's honestly a piece of cake. So yeah, today I'm going to be working with just black and white ultra boosts. These are 2.0s and they've, they've had the you know, usual wear and tear, but what I'm going to be doing is dyeing the midsole, which is the white banner around the hole of the shoe, which is the boost. I'm going to be dyeing that black. And yeah, that's all that I'm actually doing today. And in the future, there's, there may be more happening to these shoes exactly, but I'm not too sure yet. Now, put them aside. All you're going to need for this is basically a paintbrush and a, a type of dye. So I've got so just a standard black leather dye today and a fat as hell paintbrush because yeah fuck didn't have any more so yeah we'll make it work I'm only doing the bottom so it should be pretty easy um, there's no room for error really because it's just gonna be all black um, yeah you can use Angelus dye which is like a lot more expensive and uh, you might be able to buy them from like your local stores, etc. But I'm not 100% sure. But I just had this black leather dye at home lying around. So, yeah, I'm just going to use that. And hopefully it will turn out okay. But if not, then I'll just get the right stuff in, in the future and touch it up. So, the first step is actually going to be cleaning the shoe. So, um, hold on. I'll skip the... Cleaning the shoe, I'm just going to use uh, just a scrubbing brush like this. It's pretty cheap. You can just get it at like a Asian market or something. Um, and but if not, if you don't want to get this, you can use like you can even use like toothbrush or something or any type of brush that has like bristles where you can clean it. So I'm going to get on to cleaning the midsole now. So we've got the shoes and the towel here. So you just gonna go around, make sure you thoroughly wipe the sole of the shoes. Basically where you're dying, make sure your shoes are completely dry when you go to do the dyeing process. All right guys, so as I said before, you need to make sure that they are clean. Because if they're not clean and you go to dye them, you're gonna get just dirt and all that all through the dye and then it's just, it's just not gonna be the best product that you've made. And so after you've done that, make sure they're dry. It's crucial that they're dry as well. But as you can see, they're a lot whiter now. And they look a lot cleaner, which is good. And so after that point, we move on to the stuff you've all been waiting for, which is the dyeing process. So um, make sure that you shake your dye up because you know just good to mix it up and then when applying this you don't want to put too thick a coat on and then have it drip all everywhere so I advise you put that on like a piece of newspaper or whatever which I'm about to do right now just anything that will protect the surface that you are working on and a lot of people use like dye primers and all that other stuff like preparation for the thing but as I said earlier you know your boy's broke as fuck so we don't have any of that so we're just going to be doing a raw coat and yeah show you guys how it's done also I advise you get a smaller brush because this thing's freaking huge look how, look how thick that is like how am I supposed to do this but okay Anyway, right, I'm going to lay the newspaper down, or anything, I don't know if I have newspaper, shit, cardboard, I, can, oh, I know I have cardboard, so anyway, I'm going to lay down the surface and then I'm going to start the process. Alright guys, so we're starting the process now, remember to shake the bottle up, make sure that you have a surface to work on, and let's get into it. I 
do advise that you get a smaller brush because this has proven to be quite difficult to get in between the layers of the net here and the sole here. So to get really close and up in there, I advise you get a nice fine small brush. Alright guys, so I finished dyeing the midsole, and it's turned out pretty nice, I think. Um, I ended up doing about three three coats, I think. Yeah, I did about three coats of actual dye, and I do recommend that you get the proper equipment because using just this dye takes forever to dry. But oh, that rhymed. <laughs> um, but I used the dryer, hair dryer, my mum's hair dryer, to. Um, Help speed up the process and then yeah that was it was pretty effective but um I do believe that these can turn out nicer if you get proper like primer proper dye proper paint and then a matte finisher but yeah your boy's gotta save his money so that just didn't happen also quickly I did mention in my last video that I'll be doing a giveaway however there wasn't much interest because you know 100 subs is all I got. But I have got three hoodies I brought, which were the all exact same. Um, hold on, let's grab this. And this is the hoodie. It's a plain black hoodie with just a design in the middle. Um, so I brought three of them, and I'm going to be keeping two of them, and then this one in fact is hasn't been worn at all brand new I will be giving that one away to whoever wins the giveaway and yeah to enter that drawer I will put it down in the description below and you just gotta follow what it does and then you'll enter the drawer it is a size large but if it doesn't fit or whatever for whatever reason then you can just hang it up or you know just keep it until I get a million subs and then say, yo, I got his first giveaway, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys these on feet. And then, yeah, that's going to conclude today's video. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed and stay out, fam.